Yeah, that's the arrow. Are we going inside? Well, it is, okay. It is, um, Occupied. Available to come back to you. These stories are really good. Yes, very good. The drawings on the wall, the stories are really amazing, mm -hmm. extraordinary. What's the name of this room? Uh, banquet in the ah, banquet here. Yeah.
all right folks i'm headed for the part two which is a guided tour well i'm not too sure if they will allow me to do some video while on the tour but i will try and see i will try and see what what will happen but yeah i won't really really sweat it too much to be honest All right, so let's let's head up up the staircase and go towards the meeting point. Oh, damn it! Morning. 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 The house tour starts here, please wait here and your guide will come and meet you. The 45 minutes guided tour includes access to additional castle rooms. If you wish to upgrade your ticket, simply return to the ticket office and ask for a house tour for a small extra fee. Hmm. Hello. How are you? Yeah, it's closed. Uh, yeah, it is closed. Are you the tour master? No. Ah, okay. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. No worries. Lights? 
<laughs> That's really strange, because we have had another tour through here this morning, which means there might have been a primary school group here uh, doing their tour in the dark. <laughs> I don't know, strange, strange co Anyway, so, yes, this is the children's day nursery. They did have a night nursery, that was upstairs. They had four children. Here, we have Margaret. She's the oldest and the only daughter. Over here, we have little John. You may be noticing a pattern. <laughs> All the oldest sons of the family were called John. When he has a son, he names him John. You'll never guess what the eighth Marquis, the current Marquis, is called. John. It is John. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. There will be a quiz at the end. <laughs> Over here, we have little Ninian. And here, we have little Colum, sat on his sister's lap. Ninian and Colum, both named of Scottish saints. So, the third Marquis was a very, very, very well-educated man. Third richest man in the entire world. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to work a day in his life. He was able to pursue his great passions, one of them being languages. It was said that he could understand 21 languages, which is a couple more than I can do. Mm -hmm. But he wanted his children to kind of follow in his footsteps. And so they had two nursemaids who would only speak to them in their native languages. One of them in French and one of them in Welsh. By the age of 10, children would speak five languages, English, French, Welsh, Scots, Gaelic, and Latin. Mm -hmm. I mean, probably could have communicated just in Latin. One of his other loves was literature and stories. We'll see his library right at the end. But the walls up here are decorated with different children's stories. Now, I had a tour group the other day. He was able to guess all of them, and they were about nine years old. So let's see if we can guess a few and beat the right off. So, up here, We've got a young lady with glass slippers being put on her feet. Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella yeah. yeah. Over here, an English, English knight who can fight the dragon. St. George. St. George, yeah. Over here, we have got a man with a magic lantern. Aladdin. Aladdin, yeah. Above the door, a cat, a very nice pair of boots. Close in boots. Right here, uh, a princess, very long golden hair. Rapunzel. Rapunzel, yeah. Actually, to give you guys a little fun fact, the dog that is underneath her hair it is nothing to do with the story. <laughs> that's, one of the, that's one of the children's pet dogs. Oh, that's very nice. It has sort of immortalised up on the wall. Over here, we've got two young lads, giant heads on beanstalks. Oh, oh yeah, beanstalks. Yeah. Jack on the beanstalk, yeah. Above yeah. the door, very beautiful young lady holding hands with a man with a beast's head. Mm -hmm. Beautiful yeah, beast. Yeah. Next one along, Englishman with a bow. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Speaking of hoods, back of the wolf. Young lady with a red one. Oh, red riding hood. Red riding hood. In the carriage, got a princess, a very beautiful one. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. Beauty. And then right at the end, a gentleman who'd been marooned on a deserted island. Robinson Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe, yeah. Now, one more story. Right here. It is a French story. It's called The Invisible Prince. I'm going to say something that might make you go, Amy, what on earth are you talking about? <laughs> but can anyone spot the prince? The bird? The bird's a good guess, not quite the bird. Like oh yeah, yeah, I can see. So, the tree of branches, like mm -hmm. Yeah, so his chin is resting on the bird's head. The bird's <laughs> mouth is a twig oh, yeah. leading up to his nose and his forehead. Yeah. Um, he's got a crown of leaves on. I have got a close-up bird. see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So, there's his nose and his forehead. There's the crown of leaves with his shoulder down. Oh, yeah, 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 I see. His yeah. legs yeah, 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 yeah. in the long breath there. No, I see it, yeah. Yeah? yeah. There is postcards of him in the gift shop as well. Uh, if you want to wow the people at your next dinner party. <laughs> so, in the lanterns, we've also got different nursery rhymes over here. Rub dub dub, three men in the top. Play little little, cat and fiddle. Over here we have a little boy blue. And over there, Mary Mary, quite contrary. Now there's one last story. A lesson for the children in the fireplace. Being the third richest man in the entire world, he was very, very aware that his children would grow up with great amounts of wealth and not know anything different. So he is trying to teach them to be humble. We've got up top the figure of fame and below the herald. 
two trumpets, one of good fortune, one of ill repute. So an unfinished choices tale in the house of fame. He's teaching the children, don't blow your own trumpet, or you'll make a fool of yourself. If you look for the figure of fame, start sprouting donkey's ears, you'll make an ass. <laughs> It also shows with Shakespeare with the uh, Midsummer's Night's nice Dream uh, and the Pinocchio, which terrified me as kid. So, we're going to go now to the banqueting hall. How many of us are there? There's six of us. Ooh. Speaking of Chaucer, should we go to a room that's not normally on at all? Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Just, just one little thing. Uh -huh. I mean, Jack and the Beanstalk, mm -hmm. and there's three giants. So there's two stories up there. There's Jack and the Beanstalk and Jack the Giant Killer. Oh, right. Uh, they okay. kind of get yeah. merged a little bit. We don't talk about all the stories on the walls, yeah. mostly because I don't want to explain to the primary school group ladies either. Um, um, yeah. yeah, you might get sent to country. Yeah. <laughs> so, but but there is a lot well, of stories, like um, yeah. Fatima is up there, yeah. and Reynard as well. Uh, so yes, yeah. we're going to go to, we're going to meet in the banqueting hall. I've got to shut the door behind this, um, lock the next group out. Um, but yeah, we're going to pass a room called the Arab Room. Do have a look in there, it is gorgeous. Um, but it is also on the free flow, so you can come back to it later. Um, hopefully, the lighting will <coughs> be fixed in there as well. The lighting was broken recently, well not broken, down for conservation recently. Um, but should be up now. So, follow me, I'll show you where you're going. Hello. Are we going inside? It is, okay. It is, um, Occupied. Available to come back to you later.